If you desire change, you must implement change. That is the first thing my father told me when he dropped me off at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. And let me tell you, I was terrified. I was terrified to walk into a university that was predominantly Caucasian. What would I look like in four years? What would my friend group look like in four years? And that is why I decided to start recording my journey as a student at the University of Colorado Springs. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another day in my life. I know the first one wasn't that great. So I'm going to do a part two, and this is my second semester of UCCS. One of the main reasons I decided to start recording my journey as a student was for those that would come after me, those first generation students and those Hispanic students who don't really know what it's like to live in a university with complete strangers, right? You walk into a university without knowing what is your life going to look like, who you're going to talk to, and because I was away from my culture and my native language, it was very difficult to find a community. So I distracted myself. I distracted myself because I felt alone. Me sentía sola. Me sentía que nunca iba a encontrar una comunidad que hablaba como yo, que se ve como yo y me distraía. I would distract myself with my dog. I would um, use him as an emotional support dog, really. I got Benji my sophomore year of college because it started to get really lonely. And una de las cosas que me ayudó es escribir sobre mis sentimientos. Me ayudó encontrar una comunidad but I created that community. That community wasn't here when I first started as a freshman. I decided to implement change. I decided to create a community for my people. And I decided to stop complaining about the fact that I was living in a predominantly white university, right? Because at the end of the day, wherever I walk, at least here in the United States, I will always be the minority. So decidí crear un grupo. I decided to create a group of um, Latina women who basically focus on empowerment. And that organization is Pilam Dakai. We co-founded it here at UCCS and I am one of the co-founders along with five other women. I also got out of my comfort zone and joined LSU and I created a community out of that. So this is just a reminder that after four years of university or whatever you choose to do with your life, you are able to implement change. You are able to create that community that you desire. And four years is a long time. Now that I'm approaching the end of my college career, I am thankful for the growth I have made physically, emotionally, spiritually, and I hope that to you, incoming freshman or transfer student, I hope that you make your mark wherever you are. <laughs>